Hi, church family. Hi, Waymaker, we miss you. Hi, Waymaker family, we miss you. Hi, Waymaker family, we miss you. Hi, Waymaker church, I miss you. I really love church, and I and um, I like the snacks in the first grade class and hi hi hello kids welcome to another kids online service we are so glad you're here today and if you're new welcome i hope you enjoy your service today uh, before we start we're going to go ahead and pray so right there where you are bow down your heads and close your eyes and we're going to pray uh, father god Thank you so much for this day, Father God. Father God, we just ask you to speak to our hearts today, Father God. Talk, uh, just talk to us today, Father God. Give us what you have for us today, Father God. And also, Father God, let us have fun too, learning about your word. In Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty, so let's get up, okay? Let's get up and let's worship.
I'm closer to you, but I feel like I'm so far away. Cause I love my fear, let my fear get in front of my face. gonna try to make a, a, a taco see um, my favorite food besides hot Cheetos it's tacos and I'm trying to make a taco here but playing with play-doh is so much fun but do you imagine having 10 kids coming and I have to divide this into 10 pieces do you think I still will have enough Sharing is really nice. Sharing is really good, but sometimes it, feel, it feels like it's not enough. In today's lesson, we're gonna hear what God did, what Jesus did with five loaves of bread and two fishes. Oh, hey, hey guys, how you doing? Sorry I got held up, something amazing happened. Okay, I'm glad I could get a connection out here so I can share it with you. Oh, well, I'm, I'm kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Well, let's, let's start from the beginning. Okay, so, I was with a bunch of friends and we heard that Jesus was headed out here. So me and my friends and more than 5,000 other people decided to follow him out. Man! Was he out here? <laughs> you might also think these people would come, be healed, and go home, but they didn't. They stayed and stayed until it got dark. And as we know, we are very far away from any towns. There's no shelter, no bathrooms, no food, and we're all starting to get well, hungry. Uh, I'm sorry, I didn't see you there. I, I thought everyone had left. Oh, <laughs> it's all right. Ooh, you know, 
Even though this bag hit me in the head, this is delicious. Uh, mm. What's that? Who, who are they? Oh, this, it's um, it's just a piece of technology that will be invented in about 2,000 years. Te teach knowledge? Te technology? Talk it's knowledge. No, it's um, technology. Shoot. It's Frank? Mm, no, that's all right. Don't worry about it. Um, anyway, these are my friends, and they are at church right now. Can you all say hi? Whoa! John, get over here. You need, you need to check this out. Whoa! What was that? He called it Technolabob. Or uh, technology. Technolo... Talk. What he said. Wow. That's amazing. Who are they? Uh, these are my friends, and they're in church. Wait, wait a second. Who, who are you guys? Oh, my name is Matthew. And I'm John. Wait, you mean like Matthew and John, Jesus' disciples? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I'm the one he loves the most. Oh. Says you. Wow, well, um, I was just about to tell my friends about the miracle Jesus just performed. Maybe you guys would like to help tell the story. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I mean, I plan on writing it down in about 50 years or so. Yeah, I do too. Great. Well, uh, I was telling them about how more than 5,000 of us came out here to see Jesus. Yeah, well, maybe you should start from a little ways before that. Yeah. Oh. Do, you, do you even know why he came out here in the first place? No, I just heard he was coming out here. Oh, okay. Well, we'll start from there. Do you remember John the Baptist? N no, not, not, not this John. Sadly, John the Baptist was killed by the evil King Herod. Oh, wow, I didn't know. Wasn't John the Baptist Jesus' cousin? Yeah. Yeah, he was. Jesus was really sad. He, he needed some time to get away from the town and get out and spend some time in prayer alone with his father God. Really? Man, I had no idea. Now I feel bad. I wish I would have known so I could have had some compassion on him. Uh, do you know what compassion means? We might think that we feel compassion when we see someone who is poor, left out, or hurting, and we feel sorry for them. But compassion is much more than that. Compassion is something that comes from deep inside of us. A feeling that is so overwhelming that we can't help but do something about it. Mm -hmm. And you know, speaking of compassion, that's exactly what Jesus showed in this situation. Jesus saw the crowds of people who had gathered and he had compassion on them. Yep. And that's why he served them. He healed their sick and, and told them about God. Wow. Jesus does show a lot of compassion. Yeah, and, and you might think that only a couple of people would follow Jesus out into the middle of nowhere, but... No, but <laughs> more than 5,000 of us came. <laughs> yeah. So e even though Jesus was tired, he had compassion to teach and to heal and to help the people that had all come to see him. And we stayed until it got dark. Again, with no shelter, bathrooms, or food all the way out here. Yeah. So, so no offense, but... But, but what? Well, we kind of told Jesus to send the crowds away, you know, so they'd go to the village and buy themselves some food. But oh. even though he was sad and tired, Jesus had compassion on the people. And that meant he, he cared about their hunger. And he also cared about them enough to not send them away even when they needed him. Yeah. So Jesus said to us, Give them all something to eat. They don't need to go away. Oh, wow. So you guys must have been pretty overwhelmed. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> Philip even told Jesus that if he worked for, for eight months, he couldn't buy enough bread for each one to have a bite. Wow. And the best we could do was find a boy who had five small loaves of bread and just two fish. <laughs> and that's when Jesus did something amazing. Well, he told us all to sit down on the grass. And he told us to bring the food to him. And then he took the food. He looked up to heaven, thanked God for it. And then just asked us to pass it out to everybody. We were thinking that there was no way we would have enough food for more yeah. than 5,000 people. But we did as Jesus asked. Yeah. Well, and then what? Do you see all these baskets? Yeah. We have 12 of these filled with bread and fish. That's so much extra! <laughs> and Jesus did all that with five loaves and two fish? Amazing, huh? Unbelievable! You know, I, I ate the bread and fish and was totally satisfied. Funny. Everyone else said the exact same thing. Another crazy thing is that we've got more leftover food than what we had when we started. Sounds kind of like how popcorn works? Yeah, like popcorn, but far more miraculous and less buttery. Well, I like butter on my popcorn. I don't like butter, but it tastes so good.
Uh, Maybe a little bit of salt. Well, that's really amazing. Uh, not only amazing because Jesus did such a cool miracle, it's amazing because Jesus had compassion for the people. He was sad because John the Baptist died and he wanted to be alone, but he still took the time to heal the sick and tell them about God. Mm -hmm. And when it was time for us to go, because it was late and we were super hungry, he gave us a miraculous dinner. Jesus has compassion that cannot be stopped. And that compassion is way more than just feeling sad for people. Mm. He has compassion that makes it impossible for him to not serve people. And friends, Jesus is God and he is filled with God's Spirit. God's Spirit also gives us compassion and the overwhelming desire to act on it and serve others, like Jesus. God's Spirit is what makes it possible for us to look around and ask what needs to be done. God's Spirit gives us compassion for others and the desire to act on it. God's Spirit of compassion not only changes our lives, but others' lives too. All right, well, we should probably get going. I don't want the rest of the disciples to leave us behind. Yeah. All right, well, nice to meet you guys. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. I wonder why they would leave without us. Just because Jesus loves me the most, says to you. <laughs> Those guys. Anyways, thanks for letting me join you guys this week. Hope to see you soon. Wow, wasn't that amazing? What a great story, huh? Even though Jesus was sad because his friend John the Baptist was killed, Jesus was so sad that he decided to go away, go somewhere far. But the crowds found him again. The Bible says when Jesus landed and saw a large crowd of people, he had compassion on them and healed the sick. Jesus could have kept going his way, but he didn't because he had compassion for the people. Not only did he pray for them and heal the sick and talk to them about God, he also fed them with five loaves of bread and two fishes. And you know what Jesus did? He grabbed the basket and he lifted and he started praying for the food and passed it to his disciples and they gave it to people. And that fed 5,000 people. Can you believe that? 5,000 people with only this. Isn't that crazy? Isn't that amazing? We serve an amazing God. See, God had compassion over people. He put his needs aside. See, even our Bible verse in Psalm 145, 8, it says, the Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Let's say it one more time, okay? The Lord is gracious and compassionate, slow to anger and rich in love. Great job. See, now, I'm gonna ask you some questions, okay? We're gonna, I'm gonna ask you some questions of what we learned, okay, about today. So, parents, help your kids. Uh, start commenting, you know, I'm gonna give you the first question and just start commenting. And if you're the first one to comment, guess what? You'll win a prize. I'll send you a prize, all right? So, are you ready? All right, first question. Why was Jesus sad? I'll let you think about that. Why was Jesus sad? Jesus was sad because he heard that his friend John the Baptist was killed, all right? So let's see who commented, who answered that one. All right, second question. Even though Jesus was sad, a large crowd found him. He did, did he push him away? Did he put him on, a, did he push him to the side? What did he do? Hmm. I don't think Jesus would be capable of pushing people aside. What do you think? Start commenting. What do you guys think? God didn't push them away. He had compassion over them. All right, so let's go to our third question. Third question. What was the only food they had to feed people? What did they have? Hmm, was it hot Cheetos? Was it tacos? What did they have? Yes, bread and fish. Fourth question, how many loaves of bread and fish did they have to feed 5,000 people? Hmm, you're gonna need a ton, huh? Hmm, think about it. How many loaves of bread and how many fishes did they have? If you guess five loaves of bread and two fishes, you were right. So, I'll get back to you with those comments and see who answered first, all right? 
Alrighty y'all, I had a great time with you guys today. I hope you guys enjoy service too. And before we leave, I'm just gonna say a blessing over you, okay? May the Holy Spirit awaken your compassion and may you trust God to provide for you each day. Guys, I miss you so much. Know that we miss you and we love you and can't wait to see you soon. All right, love you guys and we'll see you next time. Bye.